Whether it's in the air, on land, the sea, or under it, the SimNet is your simulation network. Alrighty, this is just a very quick update to the F4 Phantom Grip or B8 Grip for uh, the Century Series fighters. Uh, this is going to be a V2.5. It's not quite a V3, uh, but I did want to make a quick video uh, just mentioning the changes to the grip uh, since the version 2 was released a couple weeks back. Um, uh, first of all, do you want to quickly thank this video sponsor, which is PCBWay. Uh, PCBWay has been very helpful in providing 3D printed metal parts for these builds. Um, a piece like this uh, can run anywhere from 15 to 30 US dollars. Uh, however, it is structurally the most important part in the grip uh, because that is where uh, the majority of the force goes, um, especially if you're using a force feedback stick like the new Moza uh, or uh, FFB Rhino like I use or an FF Beast um, and etc. Uh, a metal piece can really go a long way. Uh, these can be uh, purchased from a bunch of different vendors. I, I prefer PCB Way because they have a bunch of promos running at any given time, so you can get some coupons uh, on pieces like this and, and get the cost quite down quite a bit. Um, so without further ado, the update to the design, uh, everything else is kind of traditionally what you'd expect. So we still have the uh, P1 style buttons, uh, which are of course compatible with uh, the real uh, P1 button. Uh, so this is a pretty nice uh, in the V2 and uh, V2.5, I'll call it, where you can have the real button and the real forces. Um, still uses the universal trigger um, uh, here. However, you'll notice on the inside, and I'll bring it up, I now have two slots on the side, or two edges on the side, which allow a little bit more room for wires. Uh, so I was noticing when assembling the V2 that that blocker and the that block in the back was was blocking a lot of the wires coming through from the trigger and from the PCB uh, which is in the bottom. So uh, now it's it's only on the edges and that leaves room for wires, which is really nice. Uh, I've also uh, included a hole here for a screw, just like the V1, uh, because that's a nice touch. It's not really necessary for any sort of function anymore, because now these uh, blocks here on the side keep the trigger in place, uh, so we don't need a second hole for a second piece of filament. The single hole should do the trick. Uh, but I did like the way that that looked, so that's more of a, uh, a cosmetic piece there. And then, of course, we still have the hole on the side for the other cosmetic uh, screw and nut uh, here on the side if you so choose, uh, if you choose to include it. Again, purely cosmetic, not needed for function. Uh, same with this one, purely cosmetic. These holes, however, are not cosmetic. These are functional. So when I initially released the V2, I only had this one hole in the back, and that went to this corresponding hole in the uh, nut holder. Um, and uh, you take a, a nut and put that in the hole, and then when this piece is inside the actual grip, uh, it screws through and, and locks into that nut and keeps it in place quite well. Uh, however, in the previous version, I had much looser tolerances here uh, because I know different printers have different uh, uh, amounts of you know, flow speed and then you might have different tolerances. So I wanted to leave a little bit of room. However, I did notice a little bit of wiggle um, between these two parts. So now in the V2.5, I've reduced the tolerances. Uh, so for example, if you get the grip printed in resin, and then you get this piece printed in metal, and this piece in metal as well, uh, now everything will fit together much more snug. And then to triple down on that or quadruple down on that, I've also included screw holes on all sides so that it will be uh, a little bit more secure. So even if there is a little bit of flex or a little bit of wiggle, if you're using different materials, uh, you can now ensure that everything is screwed in tight so that there is no wiggle. And they're also offset slightly uh, vertically so that there's no uh, wiggle as well. So those are, I just wanted to highlight those changes for the V2.5. Um, I don't know if I'll do a full video on a build for this, but if I happen to uh, record 
uh, the build process for this V2.5. Uh, I will likely upload that as a long format video. Um, besides that, that's uh, that's the update for the grip. Uh, the F5 version with the palm rest uh, or the hand rest uh, that will be released shortly as well, uh, if not already by the time the video is posted. And uh, that is it. That's the update to the B8 grip. I hope you enjoy and uh, see you in the next one.